Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I am here to showcase another feature of Shelob. Um, this time I'm going to show you how the stripe function works on it. And I'm not going to build the patch from scratch. Um, essentially, I just wanted to showcase uh, this is kind of a rebuild of one of my key defects patches and uh, I am going to make this available to everybody so that you can um, see how it's put together. It's a little complicated. It has quite a few devices in it, um, and it it basically uses a lot of stuff. But it's actually smaller than the original because you're using Shelob. Um, this way, you don't have to use four different spiders. You can use just one spider. And um, this is where the Stripe function over here is turned on. And essentially, what Stripe does is when it's off, each of these channels, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4, work independently, meaning that you can have four different audio inputs into each channel, and then they're going to work on their own independently. With the stripe on, you only need to send one input into the first channel, and then that input is automatically sent from A all the way through to P without having to put any additional inputs. So if I flip to the back of this, uh, it looks a little crazy. Um, Let's just show there. There's with the cables and there's without. But essentially, you've got an input on channel one, but there's no input on channel two over here. And that's the key to how Stripe works. Um, because now, with, with this one input, you can send splits out from A, B, C, D, as you normally can if it's on or off. But then also, you can send splits out from E, F, G, H, and so on and so forth, so forth all the way down the device. Um, in this way, what I've done is I've put different effects on each of these splits and then I've keyed them um, to the keys on my MIDI keyboard uh, through a bunch of Thors uh, down here. So this is C3, C sharp 3, D3, D sharp 3. That's what um, plays all of these effects. And uh, so let's just uh, listen to how this works. Um, Okay, let's run it, and I'll just play the different effects. Okay, and now let's just see if you can, yeah, you can see them over here. Okay, so um, let's show it to you. So when you run it, you hear the original signal. That's C3. And it's also velocity sensitive, so you can turn the velocity on or off. Um, with the velocity off, it plays at full velocity. With the velocity on, it plays, um, depending on how hard or soft you press the keys, it'll play. And then you've got a master volume in case the effects get too loud, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, if I turn the stripe off, however, what's going to happen is, um, with the stripe on, all of these effects go through. If I turn the stripe off now, what's going to happen is I have... Um, the effects that start on C3, C sharp 3, D3, and uh, D sharp 3, but I can't play any of the other ones, effects E to H. So let's just show you that. <laughs> See, now nothing happens when I play it. That's because that's because these effects are off. If I turn the stripe on, so that's essentially how Stripe works. Um, so you can do kind of some interesting things. So you could you could play, for example, you could have effects that go out um, on all the other splits, and then you can use this as a quick on-off button for um, just the first four and not the subsequent ones. Um, it, that just gives you a little bit of an idea of how it works. So I hope that uh, that makes some sense. Um, I can also show you some of the other combinators that I put together. Uh, let's just browse a patch here. Uh, let's look at 
Tulip. Um, okay, so that's the key effects on there. Now let's show you the crossfades. And the crossfades, let me just see how this is routed. Actually, let me just do something here. Let me just delete all of this. Delete all in group. Now let's create instrument. And then I'll show you the crossfades. So let's just uh, run this. <laughs> Okay, so essentially what this does is it uses two different um, she lobs. Uh, one of them is for the lead and the rex file. Uh, and the lead, there's two different leads. There's one lead that goes on um, A, and then there's another lead that goes on E. And what this does is it crossfades between the horn section here and the horns that are being played via the ARP. It's the exact same Thor but one's played through an ARP and one's not. So when you listen to that, it's it's gonna go from, from mainly live to an ARP. And then the other one, I've got two basses down here. Um, I've also got two different Rex loops here, which you can switch between using the Rex crossfade. So there's a lead crossfade, a Rex crossfade, and two bass crossfades between each other. And then you can mute the Rex, and you've got the levels uh, for the lead level and the bass level. And then you've got the, uh, ba the bass fade time as well as the lead and the Rex fade time. So that's a bit of a complicated issue, but uh, it's not too complex that you can't create it. It's pretty pretty straightforward. So you can use this, uh, you can try this one out. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. I also have uh, a drum sequence, which parallel processes and cross fades between two drum groups. Let's play that. my Shelob drums and uh, the group splits effects. Let's see that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's my sound source and then the effects level of all three different effects. Um, and I put the effects groups here. There's a group A, group B. It's um, basically what I showed you in the last video. So I won't go through that. Um, so that's essentially a little bit about Shelob and some of the different uh, combinators I've come up with. So try your hand at it. Um, again, you can come to my site at reason101.net 
and you can download a few different patches and you can download these patches and have a, have a play with them and, and use them as templates for your own stuff. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm Rob and again my site is reason101.net and once again thank you Jiggery Pokery. Thank you Matt Black. This is an awesome device. Great going guys. Bye.